Good morning, people, and uh, welcome back to deer camp. Look who I got with me this time. Jordan. Saw it. <laughs> welcome to deer camp, man. Back again, baby. Back again. You remember our beast last year? Oh, yeah. Big lightning storm. Big. We got up here. It was one hell of a time to get up here, and then we just, like, ran and fast we could for the tent and we were having lightning hitting us all around us if some of you remember watching that video that was we were laughing but we were scared yeah, that, was, that was sketchy we were in us we were in it we were in the thick of it like the eye of the storm for sure let's ditch the gear and get up to our glassing point and see what we can find i freaking love this place man this place is something else something special deer camp 2019 to be continued Hammock is still alive. I got a peach off a of B-Max peach tree. Him and his wife got gave me some peaches. She gave you peaches. Dude, these are bomb. Again, just gotta let you guys enjoy that. It doesn't do it justice. The colors are way better in person. That's the thing about cameras is it never gets you what we see. The true color right here. Man, somebody's excited. <laughs> Here's the beast tail out of camp every single day. Twice a day at least. So, number one buck. Guys, this is no joke. That deer, again, I have never seen him with my eyes, but it's the one that I keep on my phone. He was in the number one buck. Martin saw him opening day. He was literally just standing in the exact, not kinda by, kinda in the same area, the exact bush I shot my deer at. So I know that thing was 50 yards from the shooting tree. He looks beautiful his oh. cape is gorgeous he's gray he's grayed out already and he's got a new four-point buddy who's not who's not bad either which honestly that that is now the number two buck in this zone 100%. like it's been a struggle i've told you guys that through the hunt it's been tough that four point was easily the biggest buck we've seen now we have the next biggest buck we've seen and they're together so the only problem is they fed down, they went down this really rocky, nasty canyon that is, it's really hard to hunt because it's really hard to see. We just can't see it very well. But good news is we got some bucks for Jordan to hunt. We, that's well, got to be a, that's just got to feel good. Dude, when, well, when we got here, we glassed a couple of these bulls and there's piles of them in here. And Eric's just like, oh, this is typical, you know, a bunch of does, a couple of little mm -hmm. bucks. I think we actually saw B-Max buck that he yeah, was after, that, that three big by two. That big two by three, we got some phone scope of him going over the moon, basically. <laughs> and they're they're way, way off. Um, and so then we were thinking, oh, you know, okay, maybe we'll go over there. And then all of a sudden, Eric spots up. <laughs> and just hearing Eric's voice, I was like, oh, this is going to be a good buck. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest, right? I shot my three point. I'm very happy I tagged out at deer camp. That's been my goal for a long time. And the opportunity presented itself and it was way too good to pass up. 51 yard shot, everything perfect. Am I bummed? After seeing that buck just a little bit, but I knew it was gonna happen and that's fine. So we got a tag at camp. I have an elk tag and uh, yeah, all got, is well. So we got one mule deer tag and two elk tags we got options we got options and we but also we got... Did you have bring... bacon wrapped stuffed deer venison backstrap on a smoker wait a minute is this for we're your... having this for breakfast is this for you from your buck you just got yeah that's a funny thing guys this deer meat is the deer i killed a few days ago up here and now i'm literally eating the deer that was living right here <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to divvy this up. I'm going to give Jordan a try. We're going to film his reaction. All right, we had to give you guys a good look. This is the back strap. The honor to Jordan for a taste test. Check out the presentation, though. Wrapped nicely, nice and tight. Got little sautéed onions in there. Stuffed. I mean, besides the Ziploc bag. That looks extremely presentable and delicious. So let's, let's bite in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm Dude, not gonna lie. What did you put in, what's stuffed inside here? Peppers, onions, a little Worcestershire sauce oh, and some seasoning. The seasoning, so nice. 
It's really sweet. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> Eric's got it figured out. Back to camp, doing camp things. The morning hunt was a quick one. Typically that's how it's been, like I said. You can, it can be over at first light. And once that buck moved out, we decided, let's just go to camp and get your uh, tent set up and get your sleeping situation going on. So we have cleared the way for uh, a small single man tent. Well, we were having a really good conversation. And just chilling in the hammocks, but literally, while I was telling him a story, he just falls asleep. First morning at camp, can't handle it. Rough life. <laughs> Sleepy little fella. Woke up too early for once. It's not like the office at Mount Ops, you know. <laughs> dude, dude what's wrong with you man uh, what what's wrong with what Take i was it. having a great story what telling, story? what do you mean what story do you know anything that's going on you know i always do that to you dude <laughs> you're always mid story and then i'm like uh-huh you do let's see if i remember the story <laughs> we were talking about um Nope, I don't remember. <laughs> are you serious? What, what were we talking about? Do you know anything? Where are you right now? How long have you been there? This isn't late. <laughs> this is a mountain. This, this isn't is better. the office. This is way better. Than oh, this. dude, that's killing me. You were telling me about... <laughs> Come on. Um, okay, and I remember. We were talking about Mount Knott's products and convenience. And dude, you know, you know it's like 30 minutes ago. Really? Oh my gosh. I remember my We were eyes. talking about buying houses. Oh! Okay. Now I remember. You, the, with the house with the detached garage. <laughs> you were, you were going to show it to me when we get back. Did you say stuff after that? Oh, I was talking and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you're breathing hard. I'm like, you even listening? <laughs> oh my, I got to get him. This is what You've happens. You've been punked. We're back at it, guys. It's time for the evening hunt. 4.45 p.m. Typically, we don't see any movement really until 7. So I'm basically taking over Martin's position right here. And Jordan's taking over mine. He's going to go sit in the shooter shoot tree. tree. So I think that's probably the best bet to at least get you an opportunity tonight. Opportunity to be close to where they're at, and if not, we uh, walk you into where they are at if they do pop up. The thing is, is we just got to get to their side of the mountain, especially with like Eric was saying, they don't really kind of turn up and maybe get moving until about seven. We've got a couple hours before they really start getting up and moving, but this gives Eric a nice vantage point to direct me in where I should be going or where they're popping out that I might be able to get a higher advantage of them or they might just come right to us. Well, we got Jordan set up in the shooting tree. It's about 6.40 now. I don't know what it is tonight. There is a hatch of something because there is a bazillion like little gnats out, little bugs. And it's funny, you can see them through the scope when you try to uh, scope around. Well, it's just after 8 p.m. now. Jordan has about 30 minutes left of legal light. and He is struggling to stay put. Multiple times I've glassed over there and he's standing. I'm giving him a hard time. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? The idea is to hide. The idea is to not be seen. He's like, I know, man. There's like no, no blood in my butt, though. Freaking my butt's falling asleep. 
I was like, trust me, I've been there. You gotta suffer. Being honest, guys, whether it's tree stand hunting, just sitting in a, you know, a transition area or ambush style, sitting there is so dang uncomfortable. Maybe it's not hard, right, physically. I mean, it is to get there. It is to get here anyways, but it is really hard to sit for hours in the same spot. How long? 18 minutes. To get from the tree? From the shooter tree to here. That's beast. I said, I'll go until last light, which is 8.30. Mm -hmm. No deer? No deer. No I, never, I never saw nothing except a two point up high and then a doe and a fawn. Yeah. When you're sitting in one spot, you, it sounds like there's stuff all around you. Mm -hmm. Like when I stood out that one time to look over, could have sworn I heard like something either raking its horns or moving on the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's probably just a squirrel. Dude, I'm ready for some grub. Let's go eat. Good morning. Good evening. Good news is he's still in here. Oh yeah, there he's been living there. I just haven't seen him. Nope. We'll get him though. What's for dinner? <laughs> You going SpaghettiOs? SpaghettiOs tonight. Show you, dude. Not just Look at this poverty dinner, but honestly, something about a hot ramen cup noodle. of ramen noodle. Oh, oh, SpaghettiOs. SpaghettiOs. With meatballs. Doesn't that take you back to being a kid? I never ate them, really. You never had them uh -uh. as a kid? I used to always, my mom would always, is either chicken noodle soup or SpaghettiOs. So They're not bad, I'm not going to lie. You get them nice and hot. Got some good calories. We got the goods. Time to bust out the ramen. We got the 